Oh, alas. I'm quivering. I'm quivering with fear and anxiety and excitement. It's that, it's that orange here. That orange here that somehow turns radiant gold when the sun hits it a certain way. Oh, I'm just, I'm like a little girl again. My butt cheeks, my butt cheeks are quivering. My man boobs are coming out again. Oh, oh just like Brian Strong. I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. Oh, and he, he just, he just, he just does something to me. And he makes me very fearful. And I can't really be myself around him. Oh, oh, alas. Who the hell are you supposed to be? <clears throat> Seriously. You don't recognize me? No, I do not. That's my James Comey impersonation. When he testified yesterday <laughs> about Donald Trump. He was a timid man. If you want to get this off, it's hot. He was a timid man. He was fearful. <laughs> he was fearful. He couldn't say anything. He couldn't protest anything, right? Well, all I got to say is that little Marco Rubio, the guy with the small hands and the other small thing, that boy came through. He must be going to run for president. Or maybe he'll be his vice president. Because Mar Marco Rubio, I think it was the first one that actually put a stop to everything. He asked Comey, basically flat out, he said, he asked him if Trump or anybody in Trump's administration was there any evidence that they had colluded with the Russians? And um, I believe Comey responded, absolutely not. He was adamant about that, no. And then he said, oh, and this is even more important because Hillary Clinton, you know, says about how that had changed the election. Marco Rubio asked him, was one vote, one vote changed or altered because of the Russian collusion or uh, the, the Russian hacking. And once again, Comey said, no, not that he knows of. Not one vote was changed. So in other words, all this shit for what, six to eight months? All a bunch of bullshit. And this guy Comey, on the other hand, he would admit that Trump was not under any investigation until he was under oath yesterday. Prior to that, did he come out and say that at all? I'm asking the question. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell are you writing? <laughs> Did you I'm sorry, say that again, please? What were you writing? Oh, I'm just writing down what that lady told us. I know what to do there. I've done it a million times. She don't know what the hell she's talking about. Mm -hmm. Not one vote was altered. So Clinton comes out and says how it changed the election. She was winning until Comey came out with that thing. Bullshit. Well, she's got to come out with something. She's not yeah. going to take responsibility. But I'm saying, as far as I'm concerned, Trump was exonerated. Oh, yeah, he's an asshole. I wish he'd keep his mouth shut. I wish he'd stop twinning. But this kind of thing like, just stops everything. Stops the radio track. So what did the left-wing media, what, what did they do today? I put on MSNBC. They're talking about uh, Trump being a liar. Comey said he was a liar. Nothing about Russian collusion anymore. Nothing about votes changing. Anything. Trump's a liar. Gee, a politician lies. Oh, what a revelation, huh? Yeah, like they do. Want to see my Trump impersonation? No. Watch it. Thank you. That's kind of like a combination of Richard Nixon.